Okay, okay. So congratulations to the new Kingsmen. Congrats, congrats, congrats to all of them. Well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. So who are the next set of Kingsmen? Who are those who say they are going to be the next set of Kingsmen, okay? By the time we are doing the next Kingsman induction, it's going to be in the next two weeks. Who says I'm going to be there? Now, somebody may say, okay, Ambassador, what do I need? What are the criteria to be a Kingsman? Very simple, just three simple criterias, okay? Three simple criterias. Number one, obviously you have to be an AP. I'm never mentioning that one. That one goes without saying, okay? But that, well, that's important because you cannot have five APs under you and you yourself are not an AP. Even if you have a thousand APs under you and you, are not, you yourself are not an AP, then you're not going to become a Kingsman, okay? So that one goes without saying. But the three major um, criteria is you must have three accounts and above. So three accounts, seven accounts, 15 accounts, 31 accounts, 23 accounts, but you must have above three accounts and above. Okay, that's number one criteria. Okay, number two criteria, you must have gone through your SMO training. Your SMO training, your week one, week two, week, week, four, week three, and week four training. You must have completed it, said what you learned, answered questions and all of that. Okay, and then the third criteria, which is uh, very important, is you must have done, you must have created five APs, five personally sponsored active partners, five personally sponsored active partners, then you know you are a Kingsman, okay? So if you're here, you already have three uh, APs directly under you sponsored by yourself. You already have two APs, you already have four APs. Guess what? By this time in the next two weeks, when we're celebrating a um, Kingsman, you should be celebrated because you're already almost there. Do we understand that? Okay, we are you're already almost there. If you already have five APs, and you've gone through, uh, you have over three accounts, you have seven accounts, 15 accounts, and you will like, ambassador, I've got me celebrated. Then you need to apply, okay? Apply, let us know. Either you apply to any of your G leaders, either G leader, Ambassador Lola, Ambassador Didio, or myself. Let us know, oh, I have become a king's man. Please, I want to be celebrated. You give us your details, we confirm, and then you'll be celebrated as well. You've added to the king's man group, okay? Remember that the foundation these days of the business, we have APs and Kingsmen. That is what we are doing this year. Okay, APs and Kingsmen. So while you're running the 90 days game plan, you must ensure you become an AP, become a Kingsman, obviously, and then help other people to become Kingsmen as well. Someone says that they cannot hear, please, my admins, tell them what to do, okay? Fantastic. All right, so what I'm going to do now is, hmm? what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to jump right into uh, my training, okay? I would have liked to celebrate the APs in the house, but um, time will not permit me to do that. Time will not permit me to do that. I'm just going to jump right into our training for today. And like I said, the topic for today is the phases of growth in our business. The phases of growth, phases of growth in our business. Okay, so that's you can. That's what I'm going to be discussing today. Phases of growth in our business. If you can see my screen, let me know. If you can see my screen, let me know. Can you see my screen? Okay, fantastic. So let's move, okay? So that's what I'm going to be talking about. So please, like I said, everybody, ensure you write. Some of you may have seen something like this before, but I'm going to bring a different spin to it. Please ensure that you are writing something. Don't say, oh, it's on YouTube. I'll watch it later. Me and you know that you're not going to watch it later, okay? Now, the meeting room is full. The, the, the link is on our various groups. Team leads, please share it on the various group chats, okay? Share it so that people who cannot log in here can actually log in via YouTube, okay? Fantastic. So these are the different phases of growth in our business, okay? Uh, there are five basic phases, phases of growth in our business, five basic um, stages you're going to go through if you're going to succeed in network marketing, okay? And the truth is that the first few phases, everybody goes through that. It's absolutely normal. You cannot, no matter how powerful or motivated or whatever you are, you are going to go through these phases, okay? So what are the different phases that somebody goes through? Number one, I'm just going to list the phases out and I'm going to explain them one after the other. Number one is what the excitement phase, the excitement phase, okay? You get in, you're excited, you're happy, you're cheerful, happy-go-lucky, you feel unstoppable, you feel like, oh, I'm going to become a multi-millionaire very fast, you're excited. And at this excitement stage, that's where you engage people, that's where you make sure they do what they're supposed to do in the business. When your new downline is in this excitement phase, that's the best time to engage them. If you don't engage them at this phase, then you may lose them. Okay. Then number two is the disappointment and the challenges phase. Yeah, that's number two. And who is going to go through this phase? Everybody. If you're doing our business and you're doing it properly, you must go through this phase. It's normal. You cannot escape it. You cannot dodge it. You cannot run away from it. It is part of the 
business. Okay, it's part of the business. So it's disappointment and challenges phase. Okay, the next phase is the what? Critical phase, the critical phase. And this is where you have the urge to quit. Do we understand? In every business in the world, every business in the world goes through these phases. So it's not just our business. Do we understand? The critical phase. Or you have a, you, you, you own a, 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 a um, bureau they change, for example. And even though dollar is very high now, you should make a lot of money. But guess what? There's some times you really feel like, oh, I need to quit this business because I'm not getting customers. Dollar I bought at $7.50. Now with a dollar has crashed to $7.45. How am I going to make my money back? You are having a critical phase. Or you are selling cars. You know, everything is going well. Next thing, they've sold you one car. Are you sure I'll not quit? How will I make up profit to pay back for this car? You know, every business in the world goes through this. Oh, you're selling food. You know, you, you cook a lot of food. You have lots of customers. You're excited. By the following day, you, you sell only 30%. What happened? Ah, they are fasting. Oh, I did not know they are fasting. Your food will spoil. Are you sure I'll not quit? So what will I do? You know, there are different. Every business goes through this phase. It's not just our business. Do we understand that? Where you feel the urge to quit. The, the fourth phase is what the growth and what the maturity phase. Growth and maturity phase. This is the fourth phase in our business, the growth and maturity phase. Okay? You can see that at this phase, uh, you're not really tempted to quit that much. You're running your business. You're going. You get, gain the form of stability and all that. And that is this phase we're talking about. Okay? And then the financial freedom phase. This is the final phase. This is the phase that everybody should say, okay, I'm not going to quit until I get to the what? Financial freedom phase. This is where I'm going to, this is, this is where I need to be. Do we understand that? The financial freedom phase, okay? Now, but what we need to understand is that we cannot get to this financial freedom phase from phase one. You have to pass through phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five, all the other phases before you now get to this phase. Because most times we see people who are already in this phase and we are envious of them. We are jealous of them. We want to be like them. But what we don't understand is that before they got to this phase, they, has, they had climbed through all the other phases. Okay? And they said, I will not quit. They kept on moving. Do we understand that? So let's now analyze the different phases one by one. And then you, on your own, wherever you are, you decide, okay, I am a social -so phase or I'm almost at social -so phase. And then you can decide, I will not quit or I want to stop at this point. Do we understand that? Okay, so let us move. Because in this 90 days game plan, you're going to go through all these phases. That is true. I'm talking about the business in general, but I'm also bringing it home to our 90 days game plan. You're going to go through all these phases if you're doing the challenge properly. You're going to go through the excitement phase. Oh, when the thing started, oh, you're excited. You're running, you're prospecting, you're doing everything you need to do. And you're like, oh, I'm excited. And then next thing, disappointment phase. Next thing, are you shall know? Some of you are this critical phase. Some of you are ready to quit. I beg, I'm, asking, I'm not doing 90 days game plan again. It's not by force. I beg, I beg. It's too stressful. Uh, some of you are ready. You think you are doing it. You are acting like you are doing it. You are telling people you are doing it, but you know in your heart of hearts that you are not. So let's continue, okay? So let's break, them, break each of the phases down so that we can have a very clear understanding of what, what were, is expected of us and what we're to do, okay? Okay, the first phase is the excitement phase, okay? Now, this is when somebody just joins the business or somebody just joins the challenge or somebody just starts something, right? And in this excitement phase, okay, can everybody hear me? I think let's walk through my other device out, but I, I, I came in with this one, so, ha. They said that the meeting is full that I cannot enter, okay? Let me activate the waiting room. So this is how it feels when people come late and they cannot enter the meeting. Interesting. Okay, guys, sorry, I'm trying to... Let me activate the waiting room so that I can have space to come in. I'm trying to log in, but it's telling me that uh, the meeting room is full. Okay, good. All right, good, I'm back. Okay. Okay, 
So let me share my screen. Let me know. Can you see the screen now? Sorry, you know, because we're using Zoom, things like this are bound to happen. Things like this are bound to happen. Okay, network and all that. Until when Nigeria gets it right, and we have uh, we have good internet and service providers and all, we'll have to keep on enduring this. Okay, that's why I prefer belly to belly. Okay, now everyone starts the business at this stage. Every single person. The reason why somebody will put their hand in their pocket and make their payments is that they are what at this stage, and they are excited and they are ready to run the business. Do we understand that? So what do we do at this stage? It's extremely important that you engage your people at this stage. It's extremely important that you make sure that they do their name lists. You can get them to do anything. This is the stage at the beginning. This is the beginning stage. They're at the beginning, make sure they do their 15 name lists. Somebody joins your team immediately. Let them do their 15 name lists. Don't say, oh, after uh, three days, you will not start calling them to do their lists. No, 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 no. Or what you're most interested in, oh, let them send you their payment details, process their payments, register it, and hey, before you now start working with them. No, no, no. Immediately, you call them. Congratulations. Welcome to the family. I'm so proud of you. This decision you have taken has helped a lot of people financially, and you're going to be the next person. I'm so proud of you. I took this decision two years ago, and my life has changed. Before I joined the business, I wasn't very confident. Now I know how to present. Before I joined the business, I was managing a salary of 30000 but now I'm making over 150000 naira monthly. And I'm going to show you how to do the same thing. What are you doing? You are reaffirming their belief. You're making them get excited more. At this stage, after you now say, okay, no problem. What you're going to do, we're going to have your QSG. If it's that same day, you can do it that same day. If it's the next day, your QSG is going to happen tomorrow. But before your QSG, what do you do? Write down name list. Get a piece of paper, write down names of those who you want to invite, who you want to show the business to. Tell them to draft out their names. Do we understand? Let them draft out their names before the meeting starts. Okay? Before the QSG set, if they can. Except QSG is that day ahead. Sometimes after they make their friends, if they physical belly belly meeting, they can drop their 50 name list immediately after payment. Don't wait for somebody to go and come back and go and face all the negativity of the world. Before they now come back and say, okay, I'm not interested or something. Or are you sure it will work? Or I don't want to re re recommend my friends. That only happens after they have spoken to people who are negative and ignorant. Do we understand that? Okay. Like I faced a lot of negative and ignorant people. But because at the beginning I had already written my list. Once I joined, they made me write, write out my list very fast. Made me invite very fast. So before I, before I, I, I started getting too much negativity, I already invited. So it's too late to, to say I'm not doing it again. Do we understand? Take advantage of this change and get them quick results. Once you're able to get somebody their first sign of while they are still excited, guess what? You have a potential leader in your team because their lifespan has what increased in the business. Many people quit because immediately after this excitement stage is the next stage. And that is the challenging stage. That is the disappointment stage. And that's where people quit. People don't quit at the, at the excitement stage. No, it's not possible. People quit at the second stage, second phase. So what do you do? In this first phase, ensure that they get their results. Ensure that they've invited. Warn them about the wolves who are outside. Warn them not to go and start trying to start explaining the business to somebody because they are new, they cannot explain. If not, you wake up and somebody who told you, ah, this business, I'm going to go full time. I'm excited. I'm going to invite all my contacts. In fact, I'm going to overtake you. You are calling them after two days and they're telling you, I beg, I beg, I beg, please don't call that my list too. Don't call my list too. Don't call my list too. They are warning you. Don't call my list. Don't call my people too. But you've sent text. I know. Don't you want to make money? I don't want to make money again. Why? Because you have allowed them to leave this excitement phase. Do we understand? If you understand, go to comments and say, I understand. It is very important. Okay? And that's number two. Number two is what? the disappointment and the challenges face. And like I said, it will come. It will definitely, definitely come. And not just here in our business, in any business that you are doing, any business that you are doing, this phase is going to come. This disappointment and challenges phase is going to come. Even if you are, you are an imam self and you are doing God's work, you've been, you open, they opened a mosque, they posted you to that mosque. Once in a while, you'll be disappointed. Once in a while, something will happen, you feel challenged. Once in a while, somebody may question what you say or something. It happens. It's normal. There's, you cannot run away from disappointment phase in any business in this life. You cannot. 
there's nothing you do you know even if, even as a new parent as a mother at the beginning hey new baby new baby yeah i'm happy hey excitement phase next thing no sleeping if you look at my eye like this you see my eyes i didn't sleep well last night my daughter woke up like three times she woke up at the first time this one that is almost three years old. At the second time, I'm like, what kind of life is this one? Play, play, play. Woke up at, at, at early in the morning, disturbing me. I want to pee pee. I want to this one. I want to eat. I'm cold. I'm kini, kicking me, pushing me. Oh my God. It was so annoying. So yes, there's the excitement to face. There's disappointment challenges face in motherhood. Doesn't mean I'm not still happy. I'm happy, but sometimes I'm like, can you allow me to sleep and have peace in my life? So everything is there. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm giving these examples so that you will not think that I'm going to agree to this appointment. Phase. Let me go somewhere else and see whether it's easier. The grass is not greener in anywhere. Do you understand? The grass is not greener where? Anywhere. So now let's talk about this appointment phase. Excitement doesn't last forever. And I'm saying this also because of the 90 days game plan that we are in. Okay. We are in the last 30 days plus. We are in the last 30 days plus of 90 days game plan. So <laughs> a lot needs to be done. Okay? We are in the last 30 days plus. And I want you guys to know that if you're not careful, because some of you started with excitement phase, you were moving, you were so happy. Hey! You were like, oh my God, oh my God. I'm going to make my first million. I'm going to make my first two million. I'm going to buy my first car. I'm going to, I'm going to. And then midway, one or two rejections came. Bam! You enter the disappointment phase of the 90 days game plan. Oh, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. And then you started cruising, cruising, doing nothing. So coming for a merge was a waste if you're not doing the 90 days game plan. Because Ambassador Mike clearly said that somebody who came for the merge and they did not do the 90 days game plan, they are even worse. They are worse than somebody who did not even come at all and is going to run the challenge. Some people did not come. Maybe they, have their, they were sick, they were critically ill, or something happened. They were in, 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 in mass, or they are not joining, but they are running the game plan. And somebody said those people are better than those who even came for the events. Can you see the difference? So it doesn't last forever. Getting their first sign up will extend their face. Some of you during the United States game plan, once you got your first sign up, yay, second sign up, yeah, you got excited. Results are what takes you out of disappointment phase, not the other way around. There's a mistake that most people make. When they're in the disappointment challenges phase, they slow down. But it doesn't work that way. Slowing down will not get you out of the phase. Slowing down will dig you deeper into the phase. It's doing activities that will bring you out of this negativity phase, disappointment phase. And it comes most times when you've been hit by the rejection rocket. Will you be hit? Yes, you'll be hit. You'll be hit by the rejection rocket. It's absolutely what? Normal. It's normal. Okay? Here they are contemplating, should I quit? Should I not quit? Mm, but let me show, let me, let me just let me see, Sha. But they are not, they are still wondering at this phase. And then we move to the third phase, which is what? The critical phase. Critical phase. And as the name implies, this is a make or break point. This is a make or break point. This is a move forward or move backward point. This is the tipping, po tipping point, I mean, yeah. At this stage, eh, it's either they quit or they decide to stay, stay put and succeed at this stage. And every network marketer will get to this stage where they have a choice to make. See my girlfriend, did you see how she spoke to me yesterday? Telling me that I should never talk to her, her and her friends about this business. Hey. Somebody that I spent 50k on a Valentine's gift because of this. Are you sure? Are you sure that I will not even quit this thing? Someone that I want to marry. Are you sure I will not quit? Okay. Because she told me that if I go on with this business, I will leave her. So I should choose. Hey, God. Critical face. You are wondering. See how my father is no longer talking to me. Oh. Because I said I'm not doing accounting again. I want to do network marketing. He's now no longer talking to me. Are you sure I will not quit this business? Hey, God. Critical phase. At that point, they need a listening ear. At that point, they need encouragement. Everybody who has quit, there was this stage where it was either I move forward. <laughs> Would you say thunder fire that girlfriend? Either I move forward or I move backward. There was that phase. 
And if you're if you as their upline leader doesn't talk to them at that phase, speak to them, give them personal development, encourage them, you may lose them. Do we understand that? Okay. It's very important. Stay close to your distributors, stay close to people at this phase. And if you're in the, you're already long in the business, what do you do when you're in this critical phase? Personal development. I'm going to talk more about that as we move on. Personal development. Now it's not a time to be negative. Don't speak to your downlines at this point. There's something that uh, Matiana and all the network marketing gurus say. Say, when you are down, go up. When you are up, go down. Stay close to your distributor at this phase. Very important. Develop yourself. Watch videos. Watch, just go on YouTube and go and type motivational video. And watch. All those ones that, like, kind of ones that we played before the meeting started. It just has a way of pumping you up. It reminds you where you started. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. You know, remember where you started. Remember where you're coming from. It just. As well, giving you adrenaline, you start making call again. Do we understand that it's normal? Anybody that tells you, no, my business was smooth, though, I did not go through any, any critical phase, or no, even me that I'm talking to you, I have gone through this critical phase before. In fact, I have not quit the business before. I've told you guys this day, I've quit before. I quit for maybe, I think, about five minutes. There was a kind of rejection I got that it was too, it was too bad. It hit me in my chest. And I quit. I say, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. It's not, no be me to Jesus. I'm not doing it again. I'm done. I'm done. And I started thinking, okay, Ronke, so if you quit the business now, what next? Will you go and carry your CV and go and get a job? Will you go and say you want to go for master's in France again? Will you say you want to, you want to start doing tourism or catering business? As in, after I finished asking myself, I said, okay, eh, so to so all those people that were telling you that you, you, that you, you made the wrong choice, what will you now do? You now go and meet them and tell them you guys were right, Abby. As in, after I finished talking, I said, okay, so that you, you promised your mother you buy her car. You promised your father you buy him car. You promised also, so if you now go and get a job in UN now, and they're paying you 300,000, 400,000, why would that help you? When will you buy that car? When will you own it? When will you? After I finished talking to, because some of you, the reason why you are quitting, you want to, is that you, are, you don't talk to yourself. That's why. After, no, I didn't call my upline. Some of you will call your upline, you'll be telling your upline. See, if nobody signs up today, I'm going to quit. I, I do not call anybody, me on my own. You see, as an adult, you need to get to the point where you make decisions for yourself. You don't make emotional decisions. That's the problem. People make decisions based on emotion, based on how you are feeling. I'm feeling, I feel, I feel disrespected. So therefore, I'll quit. What? Who respect? How many bags of rice will respect buy? How many school fees will respect pay? Oh, God. Hey, so I by myself in this critical phase, I spoke to myself, spoke to myself, and I came out and I unquit. After I quit, I unquit by myself and I continue moving. And don't think it's only when you are you are coming up, you think of quitting. No, even at the higher level, sometimes, sometimes you work with your teammates, you raise them, you invest millions in them, you open office for them, you do so many things for them, and the teammates will now say you are a bad person. Ah, you are now looking at like, where did I go wrong? But guess what? At this stage, if you decide to let it take you back, you start afresh. And anywhere you go to, the same problem is there. They say quitters quits. That's, that's the board. Quitters quits, winners win. There's no two way about it. And if you check someone that has been quitting, they are used to quitting in their life. It's just normal. They quit this business, quit that business, quit this business, quit that business. They, they are quitters and they'll keep on quitting. So this critical phase, speak to yourself. And that's what my upline did never call me at this phase. I told my upline I was depressed. Uncle, auntie, maybe your upline too at that point. That upline too is depressed. So maybe that's why they could not answer you. You speak to yourself. You encourage the person. So now let me give a pictorial um, representation. Because some of you, this 90 years game we're doing, you are not doing it. You are not, you are not, you are not among. It's not your business. You are not inside again. You have quit. You're not like, what? Well, let me just be registering my one person per month, JJ, and be moving. Let me just be going my own small, 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 small. 50K I'm earning per month is okay. Let me just be going small, small. 90 day game time, I beg, I beg, I beg. I cannot kill myself. You've not quit the business, so, but you have quit the 90 days game plan. That's still the same thing we're talking about. Same thing. So let me talk about the, the roller coaster of emotions that go through a new person's mind. Number one, they just joined. Hey, I just joined. I just made full head. Tech, tech, no bass. I'm happy. I'm about to dominate. Take over. And then they get home. 
Now, wow. So wait, Abdul invited me for presentation. I sat down. After talking, I brought out my ATM card and I paid 259,000. I mean, these people, is it just that they use on me like this? What if it doesn't work? Hey, God. Hey, is that not what Nketi said she was doing that day? And now Nketi is no longer doing it. Hmm, they are worried. Hey, they are confused. What if I don't like the product? What if, what if, what if? Next thing, they get their package. Hey, I've got my package. Oh, me too, I have this bracelet, so nice. Oh, the coffee is so nice. Wow. The toothpaste is helping me. I used to have bleeding gums before, but my gum is not bleeding again. They are happy, they are excited. Then they do invitation. They do their business lunch. Nobody's joining, nobody's listening to them. Hey, God, oh, I invited 50 people. They say I should invite 50. I invited 50 people. Out of 50, 30 of them are telling me they are not interested. They are not coming. They know what the meeting is about. Hey, God, oh, hey, what have I done? Nobody's answering me. So, oh, yeah, these 15 people that say they are coming, let them come. After presentation, one person joins. Eh, they're happy again. Somebody has joined, though. Eh, hey, come, Farouk, you paid. Farouk, you paid. Eh, hey, hey, you, some of you, the way you used to celebrate when you're up, when your prospect pays, your prospect is without seeing themselves. Farouk, you have paid. Hey, hey. Thank God, oh! <laughs> if I'm Farouk, I'll say, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Why are you thanking God on my head? Am I the only one that has paid? And then they're excited. Somebody has joined. Okay, okay. If one person has joined, it means two people can join. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I won't quit again. I won't quit. And then Farouk calls them. This thing you're telling me about. Why, why must I do 50 name lists? Why can't I? I said, well, can't I do 10, 10 name lists? I know these 10 people. You show me they'll pay. I don't want to do 50. See, I don't like how that your leader spoke to me. Oh. Uh -uh. Is it by force? The person is already depressed now. Wow, my only downline. My only downline wants to quit. Tom. Let's quit together now. And then the next day, Farouk attends QSG. Farouk upgrades his account. Uh -uh. Farouk, you upgraded. Hey, you paid for Mega Pass. Hey, that is happy. And it goes on and 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 on. Eric Quarry says, this is one of the most emotional businesses in the world. Emotion. You're happy today, you're sad tomorrow. You're happy today, you're sad tomorrow. It's normal. It's normal. Okay? So if you're feeling that way sometimes, don't, 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 don't see it as, oh, maybe something is wrong with me. No, it's absolutely normal. But when you're feeling down, don't become a wolf. Don't become a snake. Then go and start discouraging people. <clears throat> now, wow. You, so, somebody's telling you, ah, they booked 20, oh, only five came. You, five came. Thank your God now. Me, I booked 50. Only three came. You are saying five. Oh, my, there must be something that Ambassador did them. They are doing. They are not telling us. So. No, 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 no. That, that's not my upline that I say is making one million. He must come and tell us what he's doing. There's something that he's doing that he's not telling me. Because I don't understand why. What are you doing? You have, you, have, you have now become, you are no longer complaining. You are now becoming a snake. You are now becoming a wolf. Why? Because you started discouraging other people. And you know the funny part, tomorrow when you now get a sign up, you will not that person you discourage. You won't go and tell them that now you are happy. Oh, you won't go and tell them that hey, hey sorry, that thing I said yesterday is not true, it's not true, it's a lie, it's a lie. I've gotten a payment though. That my upline I was yabby. He did three way call for me and somebody paid. Oh. They will not tell you that one. Oh. It's to be discouraging, discouraging snakes and wolves. That's their work. Don't be a snake, don't be a wolf, don't indulge them. Oh my bad, this 90 game plan. I beg, I beg, I beg. How would you? Oh, let me just let's see. I, I, if I register five, me, I'm okay. Don't they say 60? 60 God, 60 me. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. And you two are listening to them. Maybe that person has savings somewhere of one million, two million, three million. You that you don't have any savings, you are listening to them. <laughs> hey. The person did not pay for your registration, no. You know, see, like I said, as an adult, you need to learn to make decisions by yourself. And sometimes, eh, snakes can be very friendly. It may be someone that is helping you do your booking calls, helping you do business plans, they're helping you do things. Meanwhile, they are snakes. They are wolves. Say wolves in sheep's clothing. Ambassador Mike spoke to us about them. He said, see, if you are not a king's man yet, eh, don't let the next one pass you by because the king's, now that boss Mike is still doing it live, he's not doing recording, he's still doing it live. Make sure you are there. Because yesterday, Saturday was hotter than fire. Oh my goodness. It was hot. And then the next phase is what the growth and the maturity phase. The growth and the maturity phase. Okay? What is this phase? 
this is when at the critical phase you do not quit. You said, I'm going to move. You got this courage, boy. said, no, this 90 day game plan, I'm going to move to the end. I'm going to push on to the end. I don't care what anybody else is saying. I don't care what anybody is doing. Me, oh, I'm going to do it. Okay? Because as it is now, we have 34 days to the end of the game plan. 34 days. What are you doing with the 34 days? What are you doing with 34 days? Now, let's move. At this growth and maturity stage, this is where leaders are created. This is where leaders are created. At this stage, even if cell meeting is two hours, you stay. Some people have already started going because they're already looking at their watch. It's almost nine o'clock. Oh, I'm going. Those people, they are the critical phase. Critical phase. They cannot stay for cell meeting. They cannot stay one hour, 30 minutes for cell meeting. They cannot. 90 minutes for cell meeting. No, they cannot. But they can watch a series. Season one, season two, season three, season four. And they are checking Google. When is season five coming out? But they cannot stay for a 19 minutes. Those ones are in critical phase, critical phase. So if you're about to leave, leave the meeting, just know that, ah, I'm in critical phase. So I've not entered growth and maturity stage yet. In this growth and maturity stage, leaders are created. This is where you, you are, your, your leg is firm in the business. You are not moved by emotion. You are not moved. You know, you know where you are going. You already seen your future. It's clear. It's very clear. It doesn't matter whether cash front, no cash front, no network, no MFA leg. They are not your concern because you know where you are going to. At this stage, you, you're not looking at your leader to help you. You already, you already know how to present already. You already know if I present to Abdul, Abdul doesn't join. I'll present to Bola. If Bola doesn't join, I'll present to Chidi. Chidi doesn't join, I'll present to Dominic. Dom doesn't I'll present to Enya. You will keep on moving on until you find the person that joins and you move on. That's the stage you are in. At this stage, you are already a leader. You are already raising your downlines. You are prospecting for them. You are presenting for You are doing home loans for them. You know, even if I don't make money from my personal sign up, at least let me help my downlines get signed up. So at least I'll make money from them. You are already growing as a leader. You are already training people. If at this point, if a wolf should come and meet you and talk to you, tell the person, please, please get the behind me, devil. What are you talking about? If your friend is trying to come and discourage you, eh, are you sure that this is your business? Are you sure you get financial? You tell your friend, come, they are working in the bank. How much are they paying? 200K. Is it with 200k per month you want to get financial freedom? In a year, you have earned 2.4 million. You are telling me, is that how you, you that you are working in that, in that GT bank? Can you be financially free in that bank? At this stage, you are confident, you are bold. At this stage, you mentor pool, you coach them, you are helping, you are, you are on track, you are moving. You are already making money here. You already know what to do. Some people may not be making so much money, but... Because of the mentality and how they are moving, it's only a matter of time. I must remind you that the only difference between you, eh, when you become a kingsman, you and your fight and your success is just time. In network, it's a network marketing. The only thing different between you and your success in this business is just time. Give it time. Just give it time. As long as you are doing your follow-ups every day, you're doing your booking every day, you're doing your invitation every day, you're doing your presentation, you're helping your teammates, you're doing your QSG. See, even if QSG is later, do, you can do QSG for your people on the phone. I was telling my people in Abuja that I used to do QSG and IP on the phone then. There was no Zoom, there was nothing. And I used to write some people and say, I will do QSG on the phone for them. I will call them, I will load, they used to laugh at me, I will load my phone. One hour I'm talking to the person, coming the business to God, willing to be trained, train other people. No slides. I'm talking with passion. At this, this is the stage you need to grow to. At this stage, they are sacrificing. Some of you, you were in cash 100k, you chop 100k. That is a lack of discipline. You can never be a leader like that. At this stage, you know, okay, if I encash 100k, at least I need to put 20k back into the business. 20k to save for my office rent. 20k for business loans if I'm not going for transport. 20k to do my maintenance is 14,000. You are already, you are already thinking like a business person at this stage. You're already sacrificing for your teammates. Please come, they say, please come and help me present. No, I'm coming. You already sacrificed because you know that the sacrifice is needed. The growth and you are mature. It's children that cry. A mature, will you, will you see a mature man? Oh, somebody rejected me. Yeah, yeah. No, but mature, mature people don't cry. They find solution. It's a child that is crying. It's a baby that is crying. You did not, you did not present for me. You did not do close down for me. See how you spoke to me the other day. It's children that are always complaining. I don't like how you, I, know, I don't like the manner in which you, I don't like the way you present. If you're, see, eh, when you are in this growth and maturity phase, eh, if, you're, if, if, you, if you invite for a presentation and the person doesn't present well, you will call your prospects 
and present to them yourself. You do your follow-up, you do your close down, and you get time up there. You understand that this is like, not the job of the person presenting to give you sign up. It's your job to get sign up like that. Maturity phase. Maturity phase. A lot of you are not mature in this phase. You may be 50 years old, but you are not mature in the business yet. That is why any time they can hire you can come and tell you nonsense. And you too, you will believe them. Hmm. Oh God. You must get to this phase. Because it's only at this phase that you know you can move to the next stage. It's only at this phase. At this phase, you, 90 days game plan, we have 34 days that you say, no, no, no. Even though I've only met three people, I know I can still do my 60. You are not saying, oh my God, hey God, oh no. At this maturity, you push to the, to, the, to the last day, you are pushing. Because you know anything can happen. Thank you, 100% responsibility at this stage. You are not waiting for your upline to, eh, hey, I know you put in no open office. I mean, Akure, they no open office for you. Who opened office for us? You gather your friends together. Say, guys, as we're in this Akure, we need to open office here. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, let's make money. Oh yeah, bring 20 get that You open office, call your dad, call on the office for you. That's maturity. That's maturity. You are investing massively back into the business. When you see us sponsoring people on vacation, you think we're stupid. Hey, there was a day I went to the bank. I transferred 30 million, was it 30 million or 20 million? I, don't, I think it was 20 million from my savings account to, 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 our, to our tourist account. One, one lady that takes us on the social prefects. 20 million naira. People, people thought I was mad. They thought I was, I don't care, it's like you're like going mad. I didn't have to do it, but I understand that you need to invest back into your business. And I didn't even travel with them. More. So it's not, I didn't, I didn't go with them. I didn't go with them. You must invest back into your business. You must invest back into your business. Somebody says they want to send SMS. You know that this person has high potential prospects, but they don't have sex message. They don't have um, um, credit on their phone. Send container credit to them. Send credit to them. Let them send SMS. Because you know how much you can gain from that, from that contact list. Investing back. At this point, you are paying attention to your teammates. You are paying attention. You, why are you frowning your face? I did not see you in some meeting yesterday. Oh. At this stage, nobody's calling you to come for cell meeting. Oh my God. At this stage, nobody's calling you. Did you attend cell meeting? No. It's you that is calling people. Uh-uh. So they are this you in cell meeting. Oh. Grace, I didn't see you in some meeting. What's happening? At this stage, you are calling your people to come for some. You are not looking at your leader. At this stage, you are contributing to your leader's business. The only way for you to be a good upline, eh? It's for you to first be a good downline. The only way you will earn money from downline, if they earn money from you, that's how the business works. You must first be a good, you must first in your team, let it be that you're, without you, your leader cannot even survive because you know that you are the one that is contributing. If they say, who will present? Me. Who will do this? Me. Nobody is using you. Nobody is using you. No. They are just training you. That's how overtaking happens. At this stage, you don't give excuses. Some of you are so, some people are so filled with excuses. Can you do a presentation today? No, I cannot. I did not plan for it. Who plans for it? Can you do this? No, ma. Can you do this? No. Your leader cannot even count on you for anything. Can you take payments? No. Can you do whatever? No. Can you travel? No, 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 no. But do you want to make money? Yes. I'm not, I didn't come to play with anybody today. I already played at the beginning. So now we are serious. Here you are grounded in the business. You are grounded. You do personal development. You are the first to enter cell meeting. Even after cell meeting, you are doing personal development. You are listening to things. If you are struggling with follow-up, instead of you to complain, you go and watch five videos on follow-up. You are struggling with presentation. You go and watch videos on presentation. You call your little piece. I want to do this. Can you teach me what to do? You are thinking of how to open offices. You are thinking expansion. That's the growth and maturity stage. They don't beg you to do maintenance at this stage. No, no, no. You do. At this stage, you are doing double and triple maintenance. At this stage, nobody's begging you to do your KPI. We are begging you, submit KPI, please. Submit KPI. I beg you, submit KPI. No, now you are not mature. You are a children. Oh, God. You are still a child. To submit KPI, you cannot submit KPI. They have begged you, submit it on Friday night so that your leaders can submit it on Saturday. Saturday morning, you've not submitted it. Saturday evening, you're submitted. Some of you up to today, you're not, you're not done your KPI. You are a child in the business. You are a child. You are a little tad. What a theory. You are a child in the business. You are a child in the business. I was telling somebody the other day, I said, the way some of you are running this business, eh, if we run it like that, you won't have joined. 
if we run this business, we thought we are running the business. A morning to night, no follow up call, no booking, no presentation, nothing, and you are full time. If we run it like that, my people, you will not, you won't have registered though, because the business would have died in our hands. Now we are passing the next generation, next generation, nothing. At this stage, you are positive minded. You are positive minded. You are, you are always, you are always on a high. You are always excited. You are positive. You have energy. You have ginger. Somebody is discouraged. You, you talk to them, they are already happier again. At this stage, when you are depressed, you go and meet your offline. You don't go and talk to your downline. At this stage, tell yourself, I am going to get to the growth and maturity stage. Go to the comments and type it. Say, I will get to the growth and maturity stage. I'm going to make this re uh, recording available for all of us so we can go through it. Go and type in the comments and say, I'm going to get to the growth and maturity stage. I will go to get there. We are trying to raise Kingsmen right now. We have a goal. We have a target for the Wealth Creators team. We have a target of 3,000 Kingsmen. I'm going to show the different divisions before I end the meeting. We have Division 1, Division 2, Division 3. If you are in this growth and maturity, you would have called your leader, please. That division, they are doing. me, I want to be part of that division. My leader, me, I want to contribute 100 Kingsmen to that division. Abba. You tell yourself, because of me, eh? Our division will win that 1.5 million. Because, of, because I'm in this division, eh, we are going to win that 1.5 million. I will not allow anybody to take it away from us. That is the kind of mentality if you are if you are in the growth and maturity stage. If you are in the growth and maturity stage. So go and type, say, I will get to the growth and maturity stage. I will get to that point. I will get to that point. And you can get to that point before your leader. Will, are you aware? You can get to that point before your upline. Hey, you are everybody here is an independent business owner. Independent business owner. You can get to that stage before the person that even showed you the business gets to that stage. Let me tell you this: you can get there. Some of you are not typing. You are afraid to type. Okay. You are afraid to type. So that let me not let me not go and type it now. Me that I'm in critical phase. I'm not even sure. The way this is for, this woman is even shouting at herself. With these lashes, just shout, come and shout, 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 shout. Why is she even shouting like that? Why is she? Does she know that she's young? She's my my my, my last born is even older than her. That she's coming to come and be shout. It's a shout of love. Oh. This is a shout of love. <laughs> hey, and you don't you, you don't have me. You, you know, I I heard um something. Uh, just let me just throw in a light joke. Somebody was saying, eh, he was talking. A lady was talking. He was talking to a lady, and telling the lady, ah. Don't you, don't you know I have I have I have I have two of you in my house. I have two of the ones that you don't have me in your house. So you cannot me. Maybe you have two men in your house, but me, you, it's, it's not me that you have in your house. You cannot even have me. In your, you are you don't have the capacity to have someone like me in your house. <laughs> Maturity stage. So let's move. What is the next stage? This is the sweet stage. This is the this is now the balance. This was the financial freedom stage. Financial freedom stage at this stage you have duplicated yourself you have duplicated yourself at this stage at this stage you have people who are speaking like you you have people who can do what you can do listen to me at this stage you have downlines who can even present better than you you have downlines who can even get results more than you you have some downlines where if you present 10 to 10 people, you get three. Your downline presents, they get five. Just so that you have blown, no? Hey. You have different people that can, they can even train better than you. They can do things better than you. They are growing. Everything that you are doing, you have people that can do it. You have people that are earning your type of income. Ha ha. At this stage, you know that you have gotten to the what? Financial freedom stage. And anybody can get to that stage. Anybody. Anybody. But it starts with this 90-day game plan. For you to duplicate yourself in people, guess what? You must have the people to duplicate yourself in. Who are you duplicating yourself inside? This 90 days game plan is it. We have 34 more days. What are you doing? We're going to do with the 34 days. You need to intensify your prospecting. When I go through the KPI, I know that many people are not doing the game plan. That's the truth. That's the truth. When I go to the KPI, how can a leader that has, you have 30 people running the 90 days game plan, and you are telling me in a week you booked 168. What, what, what are we, is, it, is that playing? In a week, you have 
10 people running the game plan. And in a week, you booked 168. You and the 30 people. When you were alone, should have done that 168 in a week. So I, I came to tell you this point that you need to recommit to the plan. You need to recommit. If you have not been doing it, recommit to it. Recommit to it. Recommit to it. First, I would duplicate someone who will be like Ambassador GD. That is fantastic. That's, that's, a, that's a good thing. But before you duplicate somebody, you first of all need to be like Ambassador GD first. You have to first of all be like her before you can duplicate somebody who is like her. Do we understand that? You have to be like that first, then you duplicate, because you cannot give what you don't have. Monk, you know the bone goats. Do we understand that? You cannot give what you don't have. At this point, this, we have 34 days to the end of the challenge. Who are you going to duplicate yourself in? If you have been doing 20 people daily, 20, 20, 20, 20, we will not be having this conversation. If you have been doing 20, 20 bookings, 20 bookings, 20 bookings, 20 bookings daily, we will not be having, but most people are not doing it. That's the truth of the matter. I say make four to two to five friends every day. Are we doing it? N-O. Questionnaires, 20 to 40 questionnaires, are we doing daily? Are we doing it? N-O. Daily presentations, are we doing it? N-O. That is why. That is why. So the financial freedom says everybody here looking at me and listening to me, you can hit this financial freedom. There is nobody here that cannot hit it. Though. It doesn't matter your background, you can hit it. But you need to go through the other stages and pull people through the other stages. You need to be growing. You need to have the growth. You need to have the maturity phase. You need to get away. Some of you, so you, you, are, you are always in the, you are in the critical phase today. Tomorrow you come out. Next morning, you enter critical phase. You come out. You enter critical. No, now come out of that critical phase. Let us be moved. Let's move forward. Not every day you are threatening to quit. Threatening to quit. Something that you are supposed to have been maturity phase by now. Helping people, you are still threatening to quit. You are still in critical phase. If you are in critical phase, what will happen to all your downlines? What happened to your downlines? You are still not sure. You are not sure. Will I, should I stay? Should I leave? Should I go? Mm. If you are here, full ground, full ground here. Go on the bridge of the critical. See, I'm not critical. I'm not critical anything. Please, I'm move, I've moved forward. Growth and maturity. Either growth and maturity or nothing. That's it. There are many leaders under you that can do exactly what you do. At this stage, people run to join your business. At this stage, your business becomes a project, becomes attractive, becomes easier for you. These are different things that I just explained. Okay? So now what will you do to make you cut through? Um, what will make you go through these five phases of growth? I'm going to run through this very fast. Number one, your why. Your why. Your why is going to help you in this 90 days game plan. Your why is going to help you go through these phases. Your why. What do you want to achieve? Why are you doing the business? What is your why? What do you want to achieve in the next two to four years? Our business is a two to four year plan. It's not a one month plan. It's not a 90 days game plan. It's not a six month plan. It's a two to four year plan. The 90 days game plan is just in between. It's a two to four year plan. That is it. So you must be, so if it's a two to four year plan, how can you quit in your first year when you've never reached year four? Do you understand? Put it in perspective. Because it's your why that will uh, propel you to achieve your goals and push and all of that. Do you understand? It's your why. When you're discouraged, you remember your why. When you're discouraged, you remember why you even joined. When you're supported by your friends, you remember your why. That's number one. Number two is what? Personal development. That's another thing that will keep you in, keep you in the maturity stage or push you there. Don't worry, I'll give you guys the slide. I'll give you the slide, don't worry. Number one is your why. Number two is what? Personal development. Personal development. Tell me things. Trainings. That's why we don't joke with tell me things. You don't joke with tell me things. Some of you that are here, while I was talking, now they're calling your people, come and attend tell me things, you know, because you want them to hear what they are hearing. Why didn't you call them since? Why? Why is it until when the meeting is getting hot, you say, hey, Chukudi, because you come and hear what ambassador is saying, no, oh, Chukudi. Why didn't you call Chukudi at the beginning of this meeting? You, why did you come late? You came late. Then you're not calling Chukudi after the meeting is almost finished. Sell meetings, trainings, please. Don't, I beg you. Some of you only come for sell meeting on Monday. That is, that is, that is, oh God. 
that is starter phase, baby phase, pampas phase, eh, pampas, pampas phase. Only Monday you come for cell meeting. Aha. Uh -huh. Break away cell meeting. Your, your leader, you are reducing your leader's numbers. No, my people. My people, no. I, I, I beg you. Cell meetings, trainings. I know how many teammates we have in Abuja, but yes, when we have a Abuja Wednesday, we have meetings in Abuja every Wednesday by five training. How many people come? How many people come? Yeah, they are in the headquarters. So I know that it's like that in other places. When I started my network marketing journey, I never missed a training in my life. Never. If I'm sick, I come for training. If I'm tired, I come for training. If I don't have transport, I borrow money and come for training. And it was one of those trainings that I heard something that changed my life. It was one of those trainings that I attended in the evening. And they were, the, the lady was talking about how to make friends. Oh, I, I had never heard anything like that in my life. And after that training, there is wrong care before that training and there's wrong care after that training. After that training, I became a mad woman in prospect. I became mental in perspective. After that training, I just ran. One training, one training. So you don't know, you cannot start to miss any meeting, but you don't know the meeting that you will attend that will, that will do something for you. The woman that gave me that training, if she knows, if I one day, when I blow, I need to go and give that woman money, like one million. I need to, because what, what she did for me in that training, she will never, she doesn't know. Based on that training, I have, that, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have trained more people from that training than even had that, that taught me that training. She gave me the foundation and then I fleshed it out. Your personal learning, watching videos about network marketing, reading books about network marketing, then teaching other people. Part of personal development is teaching because as you teach, as you teach, as I'm teaching this thing, I'm also learning myself. Oh, don't think I'm, I'm teaching, I'm learning too. As you teach, the fastest way to learn something for you to internalize is what teach somebody else. Teach it, teach your teammates. First year, network marketing over the APs. We went through that in our SMO training. We said, read chapter, um, listen to chapter one. We did it together. Then we said, okay, go and do chapter two by yourself. How many people did chapter two? We have to put it in some meeting. Chapter three, go and listen to it. How many people did it? Mm -hmm. Chapter four, chapter five. Mm -hmm. This next 34 days in the game plan, let us go crazy about it. Let us put in our all about, especially if you, are, if you are here, you have a team you are leading. Engaging in the activities, that's number three that will keep you in the game. That will help you surmount these phases, engaging the activities. Activities lead to success, it's not the other reason. People say, when I succeed, I will do the activity. When I start making money, I will, I, I don't know how, somebody, you hear somebody say, I don't want to invite my friends yet. Let me make money first. Then I will invite my friends. And I'm wondering, Oga, what primary school did you go to? What primary school did you go to? Let me, it is, it is like I'm selling laptops. Eh? I'm selling electronics. I'm selling laptops. And I'm saying, let me make money first from selling laptops before I start selling laptops. Hello? Does it make sense? So you do the activities. It is the activities that will now bring the success. Your people on your phone, have they all seen the business? Have they all seen the business? And oh. Number four, positive associations. Here I said, protect your space. Protect your space. Me, I don't have plenty of friends though. As I am like this, I don't have plenty. I'm very careful. I'm very careful who I associate with. I'm very careful. Um, because I know that somebody can influence me. There's something I used to do now. The one that Ambassador Didi used to do, and I've said everything is, at every like two, two, five, five minutes, she'll just touch her eye like this or do like this. Like, but he just do, do like this, do like this. I don't know why she's doing it. After that, doing it, I'll just say, nothing wrong with my eye. I'll just do like this. I'll just do like this. I'll just do like this. And I'm like, hey, did you see what you're teaching me? Oh, association is so important. Who you spend time with, you will start laughing the way they laugh. You start talking the way they talk. You start eating the way they eat. You start saying the things that they're saying. Anybody you spend time with, you become, you guys are exchanging spirits. You don't even know. You start becoming like them. You don't even, and you know how people influence you? It's not by giving you advice, so it's just by being themselves. As they are themselves, they are influencing you. You too, you are influencing them. Protect your space. Make friends with people in the, eh? 
Make friends with people in the business that are serious. Make friends with people in the business that are serious. Don't make friends with people that are serious, that are no. Protect your space. If the person you are going to go and share questionnaire with has started speaking a different English, they started saying, eh, it's like this questionnaire is not working. I beg, I'm tired though. Ah, just leave them in the and meet somebody because they're not people that build their business on questionnaire. Positive associations. And finally, number five is what? Your success. After a while, as you're running business, you get your first encashment. Your encashment will now encourage you. Okay, if I can encash 50k, it means I can encash 100k. If I can encash 100k, it means I can encash 300k. If I can encash 300k, it means I can encash 1 million. If I can encash 1 million, it means I can encash 3 million. Your success will now start being the one to what? Encourage you. Your success will start encouraging you. But guess what? Some of his ambassadors want my success to encourage you. Go through the activities. The success will come. So I said, my video is not showing. It's showing, you know, my darling. It's showing very well. Maybe it's your network. Sorry, eh? Okay? So, guys, I hope that we've learned something today. There's this quote I saw. I've shared this quote before. Uh, I've shared this quote before, but I'm going to share it again with us. I'm going to show us different divisions, okay? The quote says, and I'm, I'm saying this specifically for those who are, who have, Stop running the game plan today's game plan. Who have reduced their game plan activities? Who are not doing what they're supposed to do? I said every day, 20, 20, 20 bookings. We're not doing it. Are we making new friends? Are we doing our social media daily? And the quote says for you, it says, You said that you are not getting results, so you decided to give up. You were doing the game plan, you are not getting results, so you decided to give up. Now that you have given up, are you getting results? I think it was, I, I forgot who shared this with me. Let me not give credit to who I'm not sure of. You said you were not getting results. So you, you, you stopped, you, you gave up. You said you're not doing it again, I beg. Now that you've, you, you, you've quit, are you getting results? No, so why don't you just go back and do the activities? Okay, awesome. So I'm, I'm sure we've learned a lot today. I'm sure we've learned a lot today. Now, final thing I'm going to do. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my, I used the wrong slide all through this. Can you imagine? But anyway, it's fine. The final thing I want to do is, I'm going to quickly show us. Uh, the different divisions one more time. And what we need to do, remember that, like I said, upper week. Last week, Ambassador Didi gave us a fantastic training talking about uh, don't sabotage yourself. Oof. That training was hot. It was, it was hot. It was, it was, it was like, it was like, peppered. it was hot, hot. Anyway, so like I said, upper week, I spoke about the different divisions, okay? And I said, um, some of you need to go back and listen to that and back to this training. I said, the goal is for us as the wealth creators to have 3,000 Kingsmen at our event, not our event, at the July event, okay? There's going to be an event happening in July. It's called, the, listen to me, guys. It's called the Immersion of Kingsmen. And the event is only for king's men. Only for king's men. Okay? So we said, okay, what do you need to do? We have three divisions in. We divided the Wealth Creators Nation into three divisions. And we said each division is expected to deliver a thousand uh, king's men for the event. One thousand king's men. And I said, the any division that delivers their one thousand king's men by that event, that division gets a millionaire. And I put it, I'm going to write, show you the team leads there. That division automatically gets a millionaire. Any division that delivers the 1 million, the 1,000 Kingsmen automatically gets a millionaire. That's the gift. But the first division to do it, the first division to do it gets 1.5 millionaire. Do we understand that? So that's it. So what are different division one? We have that Peter Otigbeme, we have Isdor Wakwe, we have Chidi Ogalagu, we have Clifford Ania, Ania Zoba, we have Dominic Uziwe, Oge okay, Dinero Uzoma, Princess Ekweme, Simeon Oga, Inyabaseo, Demian, or Safili, okay? So this is the first uh, division, okay? And like I said, we have three divisions. Oh, where is my slide? Sorry, guys, I'm coming. Where is my slide? Okay. Sorry about that. It's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. Okay, good. All right, so this is first division. This is our first division. You can screenshot if you wanna. 
The next division is the division two, okay? And here we have Didi Awache, we have Jerry Anyobi, we have Kolade Lawa, we have Moses Daniel, we have uh, Miracle Morgan, Mercy Anthony, we also have Maxwell Obuagu, we have Daniel Alaku, we have Adejo Abubakar in this second division, division two, okay? Sorry, in this division two, all right? So you can also screenshot this. You can also screenshot, you can also screenshot. Screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. So I don't know which division is going to get the gifts, the cash, the 1.5, the first gifts. Okay, and then finally, division three, we have Lola Agundari, we have Chime Zero Bioha, we have uh, Amara Choriaku, we have Choma Agudo, we have Tina Ijago, we have Mire Aibangwe, we have Chibuzo Enemo, Esther Usman, Miminu Ramat, and Ifnayan Wabuizi, okay? So these are the three different divisions. These are the three different divisions, okay? And um, these are those who have been, who have been at least consistent. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's 100% perfect, but at least they have been very more consistent in submitting their own KPIs and we've been monitoring, 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 okay? Now, if you are in any of these divisions, make sure you deliver for your people. Make sure you deliver for your division. Now, if you are here and you say, Ambassador, me alone, I can do 100. Though. Ambassador, me alone, I can do 100. I can promise you that I can do 100. But my name is not here because I'm not yet. I wasn't. These are the team leads, okay? Let's say you are club 25, you are club 50. And you say, Ambassador, I can deliver 100. Me, I know I can deliver 100 by that end of June. I can deliver 100, but my name is not here. Send me a personal message. Send me a message. I say, Ambassador, me, I can deliver 100. Please, I want you to add my name. And I'll find out you, first of all, are you a king's man? How many kingsmen do you have? Oh, you have total number of kingsmen. Okay, I'll add your name. So that when they are sharing the Akpalapala, you too, you, you get it too. Because let, 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 let the person that works eat. The person that works should also eat. Okay? The person that contributes the most should also eat. So if you are here, you say, Ambassador, I can deliver my division. I can deliver 100 to my division. No, I can do that. I can do that. And you are sure. Uh -uh, no, wahala. Just send me a private message and I will add you. I will add you to, my, to, to, to the list. Okay? So we can be monitoring and all of that. Okay? Fantastic. All right, guys. So we have come to the end of today's meeting. I hope that we learned a lot. I hope that we learned a lot. And I hope that we are we're, we're ready to move. We're fired up for the next 34 days in the game plan. We have 34 days left. And a lot can still be done. Okay? A lot can. Some people, their first, the first two weeks, they fired, 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 and they went to sleep. Okay? But guess what? Even if you've only registered one person, my people, you can still finish up with the 60. You can still qualify for the trip. You can still hit your rank. You can still hit that goal. That's the truth. We have 34 more days to the end of the challenge. So what are we doing those days? Okay? Our 20 daily bookings, our social media adverts, the things that we're doing at the beginning, let us resume them. And if we're not doing it, start doing it now. Okay? Fantastic. All right, guys, we've come to the end of this meeting. I'm very excited. I hope that we have learned a lot. I love you all very much. I'm gonna um I'm gonna that prince said there is no name that signifies division I, I belong to. Okay, send me a, a private message. That prince, that prince, I don't know who that is. Send me a private message, okay? And if if, if you're if anybody's if your team lead name is not here, it means that they have not been consistent with submitting their KPI. That's just what it means. It means that they have been very, very inconsistent submitting their KPI. That is why. And and the, the, the new, with the new dispensation, we can't afford to run business anyhow. Ambassador Mike has said it. Anybody who is not submitting their KPI, anybody who is just doing what they want to do, we can't run the business like that. Where we are going to, the where we are, the future of the business, we cannot run the business like that. We can't. What to got us to where we are today cannot take us to the next level. So we need to do what we need to do. We need to, we need to be held accountable. No man is an island. We need to all be held accountable, okay? Awesome. So I'm going to share the slides on the AP groups because APs are the ones that are active. I'm going to share this slide on just the AP group. If you're not an AP yet, go and become an AP, okay? And apply. I'm going to share this, this slide on the AP group. And uh, this recording is on YouTube. The link is shared. You can also go. I'm going to share three things. This slide, the recording of the meeting, and last week's meeting too, okay? So that we can also have all of them. Okay, awesome. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day.
Bye bye. Hey, somebody says my division will be the first to deliver. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. Okay. All right then. Okay, guys. Bye bye. Don't forget to, so if you know you can deliver up to 100 in your division, send me a private message and we'll discuss and I'll see if I can add you. Okay. So that's it. Bye bye, guys. Oh yes, full timers meeting. I'm gonna make the announcement. I'm so sorry, but I forgot. We have we had a physical one. We're gonna have a full timers meeting uh, before the end of the week. I'm going to make the announcement for what's prop. Um, most likely, I mean, going to happen maybe on uh, Wednesday. But I'm gonna send out a, an announcement so that I don't want it to clash with the presentation times and all of that. Okay. All right then. <laughs>